So where we left off last time is we had some links. If you only have a few, please uh, look at the website I share with you uh, in the directions where you can visit this site and even see the code that I'm using and steal ideas, okay? Well, just to review how to make a... Okay, it's finally rendering. And so what I did, is it, it kind of just gave me that copy. So again, what I was trying to do was to go to wonderground.com and here I can just say weather. Wonderground is a uh, nice weather site. So if I hit run, now this says weather and it goes to Weather Underground. It's a real handy site. It should recognize where you are. And uh, it's a great little handy place. There's a hurricane in, in the Gulf of Mexico. 98 degrees today. Whew. And so I really like this one. I like the 10 day. You can look at weather coming down the road. Something like that's going to get nicer this weekend, it looks like. Not quite as hot. And I'll close that. We're back to here. You can fill this. I've seen students that have 30, 40 links and make it useful. The more you add, the more you'll use this. I'll, uh, at the end, maybe uh, mention some more links that we could add. Let's go to color, though, right now. I'm going to close this file panel. Uh, I can always open it back up if I need to. Just buys me a little bit more room. Let's tackle the background color first. Now keep in mind, there's a body tag at the top that kind of starts this document, and then a slash body at the bottom. That's the very end of the document. We want to go up here to body tag, this guy up here. Okay. Put your cursor between the Y and the ending tag and add a space. To change the color of the background, it's BG color equals whatever color you want. In the beginning, I just keep it pretty easy. I'm going to say light blue, one word. And if I hit run, so you can put any colors that you want in here as long as you can still read your uh, text and links. So any color will work, okay? I'll go with pink. Okay, the next thing you can control is the color of the links. And there's three settings for this, when a link that hasn't, you haven't gone to before tends to be blue, a link that you've already visited tends to be purple, and if you click on it, that's the active link color, and that tends to be red. What I've found the best bet to do is to change all those three settings to the same color. And this is also part of the body tag at the top. So after the color, but before the ending tag, I'll add another space. And it's link equals, and I'll do a couple of spaces. Oh, no, what periods there. So you say link equals, and what color do you want your links? I'm going to do white. So I'm going to say link equals white. I also have to do the link equals, and I'm going to set it to be the same color. I'm also going to do another space and add a link and make that a color as well. So they're all white now. So if I hit run, the links are now white. Okay. To change this color, that's actually the font color. And let's go down one line. So this is the body tag right there. We're going to go to the end of it and hit enter a couple of times and push that code down. And now it's uh, left tag, which is shift comma, the word font, space, add the word color, and set it to a color. So say I wanted to have red text. I could do something like this and I hit run my text is red and if I take a look at it on the web this is what it looks like I'd like the font to be a little bit bigger and so what I can do is in font color uh, that tag font tag you can add a space after red or whatever color you have there and type in size and try like five size equals five You'll see the font's bigger. If I look at it in uh, on the web, it looks like this, and that's pretty nice. Another thing that would make your page look better is adding a little margin space right here so it's not slammed up against the 
side of the window and you can do that by just adding a block quote like that both font and block quote have slash font and slash block quote but if you don't use them it affects the entire page so you see you get a little nice margin there and it's just easier to read your page now all right let's add a few more links before we go much further here uh, under school ones so my school is kind of separated here after grades uh, typing agent would be a good one to add and so I'm going to copy that one and we'll be using typing agent in here it's typingagent.com and then I can just call this typing agent and verify that that link works you should just be able to use typing agent by hitting login and hitting sign in with Google I don't think I've done the online class yet, but I'll have that done soon. Again, what you want to do is take working links that you have and, and just copy them and adjust the insides to do what you need to do for the next link. Well, I like to know what's going on in the world, so I'm going to use CNN.com. You could use Fox.news.com or anything. So it's going to say CNN. And again, it's a good idea to check to see that it works uh, after you code it. We're having an internet connection issue this afternoon at school, so it looks like it wants to work, but our internet's down. Isn't that something? So, so hopefully somebody's cheering it up as we speak. But it is trying to go there. It is working. It's just our internet so you'll have better luck at home um what else Greeley Tribune yeah the Greeley newspaper would be a good one to have so that's Greeley Tribune dot com see if our internet's any better I don't think it is Hey, there we go. It's working now. It was just down for a little bit. Oh, let's see. It'd be nice to have some, maybe some state news. Uh, Channel 9 is a good one. I would uh, encourage you to use that one. 9news.com Uh, a little issue here. So nine news, and now it should say, "Hey, I got nine news," and it goes to that. Uh, another one that you probably would want to have on here as the weather gets a little uh, more inclement, and that is our schools open. Okay. And so one way to know that is you go to 9news.com and it's slash closings. And this will be empty usually in, unless you know, schools are being closed. So I'm going to call this week school closings. And if I hit right on that guy, there's school closings. And when it's really snowing heavily at 3 in the morning and the wind's blowing, that's when they're going to close schools and you'll see a list of schools here that are closed that day it's a handy place to go to if you travel a lot to denver uh, another uh, service that nine news offers is traffic you can see how the traffic's doing before you leave and go oh we can't go down i-25 there's a wreck or something like that and so i'll just call this one traffic and it's a nice service and you can zoom in and out it'll show you where road construction is occurring uh, if it's slow it'll be in red that kind of thing and so it'll place you at Denver but you can move to wherever you want to be and zoom in and say you were going to Loveland or I-25 you could look to see what the uh, the traffic is like 
Uh, looks like there's a little slow traffic over here. There, that's red. Here's a little red right there. And then as you go down, you can see if there's construction or even in, in Denver, you can see um, if the traffic is kind of slow or not. A lot of construction right in there. Um, and then, of course, during rush hour, some of these roads will be red because it would show traffic being clogged up. So that'll become more important as you get to, to be older. But as you're exposed to websites that teachers show you and stuff, try to add it here so that you have one place to go to have all your links. Now, I'm going to release a supplemental lesson that shows you how to do background images if you want um, and things like that. Uh, just images in general, maybe uh, a mouse hack where text follows you around. I think I have one of those up here, uh, over here maybe. Yeah, this one where I say eat more tacos. You can put whatever text. And it's a simple hack. You just got to put it in the right spot. And it's this code here. And you're like, what does all this do? Well, there's the message. And if I change that part right there, I can get to say anything I want. It's attached to your mouse. If you change some certain numbers and read these comments, you can hack this code. I'll add this in a supplemental thing. You don't have to do this, any of this. Uh, but I just want you to have a website that you can use. But if you want to add some geeky stuff, I can share that information with you in a separate posting. So I have your website from the first assignment, and I'll be continuing to check it. And what I'm looking for are there links to things that you use a lot, and uh, are there links to things that you would also use at home? All right, you know, and you could make another web page like this for your parents or uh, just, you know, if you wanted to. But you can certainly just make sure that you always grow this over time and make it useful for you. Like I've said before, I have one I use every day for my job. And I think I have it up here. F, it's a home. F.A. Yeah. And uh, other teachers use this of mine, and I just want to show you what you can do with this. So this is uh, the page I made for myself, and other teachers use this, where we have to sign in every day to say that we're uh, healthy enough to come to work. We have a lot of contact information. There are some rosters. There's my link to grades. Uh, there's Google Classroom, Google Drive, Gmail, Frontier Academy, and we have so much stuff that we have to keep track of. I decided to put it all here. There's weather, traffic, school closings, Google News, which is news.google.com. Time, that's what time it is. Uh, it's time.gov. If I really, really, really want to know what time it is, I go there. So anyway, um, make that website yours and make it look cool. Add links that are meaningful to you and I'll check it out. So thanks a lot. There's nothing to submit this week. Just make sure your sites look, looks good.